going. Um, all right. So today we are doing balance and body control. So we worked on some stuff that was balance centric yesterday, but I said it was fine to hang on to a wall or a chair or something. Today I would encourage you not to use any props, any help, try and do the moves, no matter how big or how small, using just your own balance, okay? So the intervals are gonna be our typical 40 seconds. We're gonna do two rounds of each exercise uh, with the exception of when there's, you know, single limb we'll do four and the best thing we can do is just be patient with ourselves and do our best uh and i think that just from me watching you guys on these little boxes over the last couple months people have been improving balance wise tremendously so let's keep doing it um bands are on cycles going go ahead and start those up have your water handy as usual and we're going to start working the forearms today on our hands and knees by doing our reverse curl. So Carrot's gonna be helping me teach today. He's decided that he's really into the bands as well. We need to get him a little cat pair. Um, so to work the forearms, you're gonna come onto the backs of your hands. Try and straighten the arms as much as you can. Spread the fingers wide. And our first 40 seconds to work the forearms are just gonna be finger lifts. So let's go ahead and start 40 seconds up and down right here. And there's a tendency to kind of make a claw here with your hands. Keep spreading your pinky fingers and thumbs in opposite directions. Good, lifting up and down. Mm -hmm. Keeping the arms straight, really working the forearms. Also getting some wrist mobility in there as well, which is always good stuff. Mm -hmm. Good. There we go. Last 10 seconds. And if it's too much weight on the wrist, you can always do a traditional upward wrist curl as well, starting by working smaller muscles to bigger muscles. Three, two, one, rest. Give the wrist a roll. It's going to feel really funky to come out of this. I promise it's okay. You've most likely not broken your wrist. We're just not used to doing this with our hands, so it feels really awkward. Let's come down for our second step. So making your way into the backs of the hands. Spreading the fingers really wide and continuing to kind of open up that webbing between your thumb and your pinky finger. Here we go, up and down. Yeah, awesome. So this is one of the few things we're doing with two hands, two legs. Most things we're gonna be doing with one arm or one foot. But starting today by getting into those forms. Awesome. And we've been doing some really great work this week, as we always do. So today we have balance, and tomorrow we'll have a flexibility and mobility-centric practice. Good, last 10. Spread those fingers even wider. Mm -hmm. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and roll the wrist. It can feel really bizarre to come out of that. Take a lot of movement here. And next up, Keep that moving. We're going to work into our tricep with a crab walk hand to foot. So there are two variations of this. What I would like you to try is you come into that crab position, you go up, switch. If that's absolutely not happening today, hand to knee is fine. One thing to be mindful of is that the arms stay straight the whole time. We don't want to sag and dip, hips up, arms straight. Let's go ahead and make our way into the crab position. First 40 seconds, hands to toes, let's do it. Up and switch. Yeah, there we go. And if you can go faster, by all means, go faster. Really focusing though today on good balance. So getting the moves right, and then we can add that speed in there. Awesome. Good, keep the arms straight, get those hips up even higher. There we go. I love it. Good. Last 10. Give me five, four, three, two, and rest. Cool. All right. That was set number one. We've got our second set. The only way to really make this more challenging, go faster. Double your speed. All right. Wrists underneath shoulders, fingertips pointing towards heels. Everyone rise up into that crab position. Second set. Let's go for it. Love it. There we go. Good. We've got Instagrammers hanging out with us. We've got Zoom going. Everyone's doing their crab walk, toe touch. 
Cool. We are half done here. Keep it up. Nice, strong, straight arms pressing into the base of the hand. Mm -hmm. That's the step. Last 10. <laughs> Good. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Give the wrist a roll. Yeah, give the triceps a stretch. Right hand between the shoulder blades. Push it back. And switch sides. Left hand between the shoulder blades. Push it in. And release. For our biceps, we're going to do regular bicep curls. Because um, it's hard to do a one-arm bicep curl. I mean, we could, but we might as well do two hands. So for our biceps, everyone coming on up. Squeezing the elbows into the midline of the body. Your choice, whether you want to take these faster, leaner muscles, slower, bulkier muscles. We've got 40 seconds, and let's do it. Squeezing up, release down. Up and down. And if anyone knows any bicep exercises that you can do with just body weight, by all means, throw them my way. Because these are some of the only things I can really find to do or really think of. So I'm open to suggestion here, if anyone has any ideas. Good. Nice. And if you want to pick up the pace, now's your chance. Really squeezing the arms into the midline of the body. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Good. Shake it out. For our second set, if you want to play with balance a little bit here, you can. Know that this isn't in any way for the sake of strengthening the biceps, but just to add a little bit more challenge, you can do 20 seconds on one foot and then 20 seconds on the other while doing the bicep curl. Just an option, okay? So next 40 seconds, time is rolling. If you want to do one foot, now's your chance. Good. And if you want to go faster, by all means, go faster. It's really hard standing one leg. Pump it. Squeeze. I'm feeling that burn. There we go. Yes. Good. If you're on one foot, we're going to switch to the other in five, four, three, two, and switch. Half done. Other side. Pump and squeeze. Thursday balance day. Awesome. Last 10 seconds. See if you can pick up the pace a little bit here. We have seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. Take the stretch. And I saw someone threw a comment in the chat. I'll check it when we swap out our bands. Good. Get some nice length. Pull the backs of the shoulders together, lifting the chest up. And let's move on to our next exercise, which is a lot more technical. It is a plank to downward facing dog, knee to forearm. So, I come into my plank position. Excuse me, friend. I'm sorry. I come into my plank position. I take my right hand to my left shoulder. I press up, shift forward, bring left knee to right arm. Shift back, shift forward, left knee to right arm. So I'm on one hand as I'm doing this. If that sounds absolutely terrifying, you can either do it with two hands, tap, or you can do the one hand version just without the leg, okay? But I encourage everyone to give it a shot, just see what's possible, okay? So making our way into plank position, we're gonna do one side and then the other. Take right hand to left shoulder, 40 seconds, here we go. Shift back, shift forward, left knee to right forearm. Shift back, shift forward, left knee to right forearm. Keep going. <laughs> Good. So try at least one variation, either two hands or getting that leg up or one hand. Awesome. Great. <laughs> Looks good. Half done. And George, I saw your comment, isometrics with yoga strap towel. Yeah, we've done those a couple times and we can toss those back in there again. Last 10 seconds. Mm-hmm. Good job, Instagram as well. Give me one more rep. Five, four, three, two, rest. Let's get a shoulder stretch. Walk the hands forward, chest drops down. 
and then start to walk the hands back towards the body. We're going to do two rounds of this. So this is the second half of our first round. Go ahead and walk your way back into plank position. This time take left hand to right shoulder. Press back. Shift forward. Right knee to forearm. Shift back. Shift forward. Right knee comes up. All right, 40 seconds. Let's go. Let's see who we've got on today. Got a good Instagram crew going. Got our Zoom crew going. Good job, everybody. It looks great so far. Nice. Good. And these are the things that are super wobbly and not always most fun. Awesome, Jeff. But they build all of our muscles to be so much stronger in ways that really support us, especially around injury prevention. So it's important stuff. Last 10 seconds. Nice. Give me one more rep. Five, four, three, two, rest. We have one more set. So come on down to sit. Give the wrists a rest. Twirl them out. Circle them out. And then we'll make our way up for our second set. Then we have one more upper body exercise, a brief cardio stint, balance centric cardio, and then we'll swap on our bands. Let's go ahead and make our way back down into plank position. Starting again, right hand to left shoulder, 40 seconds, time is rolling. I press back, shift forward, left knee to forearm. Back, forward, left knee up. Good. And all of this balance stuff is meant to be taken at any pace. I move fast through it because I do a lot of it. I'm used to it. Even if you only do three or four reps in that 40-second time, that's great. The focus is more on completing the rep than how many you do. Good. Good. Last 10. Then we're going to go into the other side in five, four, three, Two, drop the right hand, drop the knees, switch sides, left hand to right shoulder, back into plank, final set, shift back, forward, right knee to forearm, back, forward, right knee to forearm, try and find contact, work into it. We're already 10 seconds in, we're doing great. Good. Nice. Not always easy, but definitely builds strength. Mm -hmm. Last 15 seconds. After this, we're going to take a quick sip of water and rest. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Everyone grab a sip of water, and I'll demonstrate our final exercise for the upper body. It's been really toasty in L.A. this week. I don't know what the climate is like around the rest of the country, but Wow. We got some heat today. All right. So last up, forearm plank rotation side to side. I come into forearm plank. I rotate over onto one side, lift, come back over onto the other side, lift. Now, what's optional here is lifting. You can always just go side to side. But if you can, as you come onto one side, lift the arm and the leg, rotate back through center, and switch. So I call these star forearm planks. So let's set up together. Make your way down onto your forearms. Take the right forearm parallel with the front edge of your mat. Roll into the outer edge of the right foot, 40 seconds. We're going, here we go. And that bottom arm is really what's building the strength here. The top arm and the leg are kind of just for flair, but they make everything work that much harder and that's what we want. Nice. <laughs> awesome, Diane. Good. Great, Bonnie. I see everyone trying it. And even if you try it and you fall, as long as you don't hurt yourself, that's all that matters. If you try. Yes. Last 15 seconds. Nice tie. Kaziah, you got it. Everyone's got it. Oh, this is great. Good. 10 more. I don't even care how many reps you do, as long as you're moving. Five, four, Three, two, rest. Everybody drop your knees. Pull your butt back to your heels. Take the back of your right hand. Weave it underneath your left arm. Quick shoulder stretch. 
Resting the right cheek down towards or on the floor. And press back up through center, switch sides. Back of the left hand, weave it underneath the right arm. And press back up through center. And let's set ourselves up for the final round of upper body work. So making your way onto your forearm, step back into forearm plank. This time, left arm comes parallel with the front edge of the mat. Roll into the left side, 40 seconds. Let's go. <laughs> nice. Good. Keeping those hips off the ground the whole time by pressing the bottom arm into the mat for stability, building up that shoulder. Nice, Sophie Anthony. Looks good. I can see limbs flying, and that's exactly what I want. Mm -hmm. What I like is I see people doing the lifts, but we're still keeping really good form. We're not letting our hips completely sag and drop. So that's great. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Everybody come on up to stand. Our three heart rate moves of the day, our pendulum swings. We go swing, swing, kick, swing, swing, kick. After that, we have lunge high knees on the right side, up, back, up, back, and then on the left side, up, back, up, back. So even our cardio involves the element of balance today. When I'm on a balance kick, I go all in. All right, first 30 seconds, pendulum swings, arms out. We're going in four, three, two, let's go. Swing, swing, kick, swing, swing, kick. That's the stuff. Get that alternate leg up as high as you can. Now let's pick up the pace. <laughs> I love it. All right, half done. Then we're going into reverse lunge, high knees with the right leg. Last 10. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step the right foot back, 30 seconds, lunge, high knees. Up, back, up, back. That's it. Good, keep it up, keep it up. Half done. Nice. Awesome. Everyone looks great. Last 10, then we're going right into the left leg. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch. Left leg. Good. Getting that back knee down towards the ground. Woo, there we go. <laughs> Half done. Last 10, give me four more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. <sighs> I'm out of breath. Good job, gang. Let's swap out our arm bands for leg bands and have our question of the day. So the question of the day is, are you a morning bird or a night owl? And which do you prefer about your ideal time of day? Or what do you prefer about your ideal time of day? I'll start. I'm a morning bird. I like waking up early. I like the sunrise. I like getting up and at it. I feel more energized when I start my day early. All right. She says, early bird, do things before sunrise. Heck yeah. <laughs> but I wasn't always that way. George says, morning, quiet. Agreed, agreed. What else? Is anyone going to defend the night owl? We shall see. I think when I was in high school and college, I definitely was more of a night owl. Diane says, morning, best time of the day. Yeah, for sure. Before all this COVID stuff, I was teaching at 6 a.m. almost every day of the week, during the week. And so I was up and at 5 a.m. And L.A. is a different City that early in the morning and it's wonderful. John says, wait, Steve says, John Doolittle goes hard 24 seven. <laughs> True. John says, get your blue light between sunrise and 10 a.m. 
super important for circadian rhythm. Cool. Bonnie says, I'm trying to change, usually evening owl, but love mornings when I wake up early. <laughs> I knew there'd be at least one person on here who was like, I like nighttime. <laughs> There's no wrong answer. All right, cool. That was great. We're all, all morning or working towards being morning people. That doesn't mean I wake up and I pop out of bed. It means I wake up and I'm like, mm, I know if I get up, I'm going to be happier. All right, leg man's on. Cycle going. Hike those outer tubes up. This is my katsu outfit of the day. It's all black and pink and matches all my bands and stuff. Okay, so to start, single leg heel lift. Now, that can look like a number of things. That can look like your toe, your big toe is resting on the floor, and you're like so. Or it can look like your whole leg is off the floor and you're doing it like so. So either big toe down, still has that nice element of instability or lift the whole leg up. We have 40 seconds per side. It's gonna be a lot. The calf is gonna burn out. That's the goal, okay? So go ahead and shift your weight into your right foot. Come onto the toes or entirely lift the left foot. 40 seconds in four, three, two. Let's do it, up and down. Yes. <laughs> so hard. And I have to take these really slow because my calves run out really quickly. And I've even been noticing from all this work that we've been doing, my pants are starting to fit tighter around my calves and I love it. I can tell I'm growing stronger. Cool, half done. If you need to play with a variation between leg up and leg down, that's fine. You're still experiencing that instability that we want. Oh, it burns me so much. These are so hard for me. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch that. Fried my calf. All right. Wait until the left foot. Either big toe the right foot or off the ground. 40 seconds. Ready? Let's go. And I started out with my pace being super fast, which got me. I burned out. So feel free to take these ones slow. It's a lot of weight on one leg, specifically one calf, which is a smaller muscle. Woo, there we go, keep it up. Nice. Last 15 seconds. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Oh, I almost wasn't able to finish those, but we have one more round because that was only one set. What do you know? Balance isn't always easy. All right, shift the weight into the right foot. Come onto the toes of the left foot or pick it up entirely. Doesn't matter to me. Just try to do your best not to stop throughout the whole round. Ready? 40 seconds. Here we go. Up and down. And there are a lot of things that I can do balance-wise, but I'm keeping my big toe down for this one because I know that I will absolutely not be able to finish the set otherwise. And I want to be able to go to fatigue and push myself. <laughs> Good. Nice. Great. 15 seconds left. Now I'm going to lift up that foot because I know I can make it through this. Give me 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch the foot. As you're doing this, don't look at the screen. Don't look at me. You know what to do. Look at the floor or look at the wall for balance. Shift the weight to left foot. Big toe or right foot off the floor. 40 seconds. Let's do it. Good. Really get those heels up, make it meaningful. Nice. And there we go, half done. Keep moving, doing something. All right, we have 15 more seconds. Now I'm going all in. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, and one. Huh. All right, let's get our heart rate up, then we'll take a sip of water. 
First 30 seconds, pendulum swings, arms out, swinging those legs. Three, two, one, go. Swing, swing, up, swing, swing, up. Release that muscle a bit. Faster. Killer. Half done. Woo. Last 10. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. One Chinese right leg. Ready, go. Up, up. Yes. Move through it. Work fast. Use your core to get that knee all the way up. Pump it. Great. Half done. Then we're going to go right into the left leg. Give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and switch. Left leg back. 30 seconds. Go. Keep moving. Yes. Getting that practice on one leg that we're going to use throughout the rest of our practice. Amazing job, everyone. Last 10. Then we're going to have some water. Seven. Six. Give me three more. Five. Four. Three. Two. And rest. Water all around. Whew. All right, next up we have lateral lunge hovers. I love hovers because hovers not only challenge our balance, but they also challenge our range of motion and our body control. And ultimately, the best way to keep from getting injured is being able to control your body no matter where your limbs are and what you're doing. So we've done many a lateral lunges, so we know this one. We step out to the left, Lunge as you rise up, get that tube out of the way, lift, lunge, lift, okay? So we're doing one side, the other side, that's one set, then we're going to do it again, okay? So come through center, keep my bands on, start to step the leg out to the left, 40 seconds, here we go. Lunge into it, rise and lift, lunge. Rise and lift. Keep it up. Yes. Awesome, Ty. Nice. And you know the difference between whether you're just kind of flinging that leg up and falling down. Try and keep a fluid motion. So controlling the lift, especially at the top. Awesome, Diane. Nice, George. Bonnie looks great. Yes, last 15 seconds. Uh-huh. Everyone see if you can sink a little bit lower over to the left. Down. Up. Keeping shoulder and hip in line. We have six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Make your way back through center. Step over to the right. One side's going to be harder than the other. That's just how it is. 40 seconds. Here we go. Lunge. Lift. Lunge. Up keeping my right shoulder in line with my hip the whole time. Awesome job, Instagram. Yes! <laughs> These are great! Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. Nice, Jeff. Good, everyone get even lower into that lunge. Boom, there we go. Last 15 seconds. Then we're gonna take a quick pause. We're gonna go through it again. Give me seven. Six, five, few more, four, three, two, and rest. Amazing. Not only was everyone getting that leg up to the side and holding it to some degree, we weren't getting all crazy, but I also saw you guys getting pretty low on those lunges. So all the hard work is paying off. We've got one more set. Let's do it again. Come back to center. Step that foot out to the left. Shift your weight to the left. We lunge, lift. Lunge, lift, 40 seconds, we're rolling. Nice. Now, my challenge to you is see if you can go half as fast. 
So moving in even slower motion to drop lower, lunge, really controlling up, lift, drop all the way into it, lunge, and lift. <laughs> 15 more seconds, keep it up. I know, it's arduously slow, and that's exactly what I'm asking. Last 10. See if you can do one more and only one more amazing rep. Five, four, three, two, one. I love it. Back through center. Last rep, last set. Shift over to the right. Let's go. 40 seconds. Lunge, lift, lunge, lift. <laughs> I saw that <laughs> and it was awesome. <laughs> you got it, girl. Yes. Oh my gosh. Of everything we've done this week, in my opinion, this is one of the strongest things I think we've done. Just because we can do easy moves, we can do a lot of reps, but in terms of bodily control, this is phenomenal. Last 10 seconds. Yes. <laughs> Great job, Instagram, as well. Five, four, three, two, done. Woo. Give me some circles. Release it. All right. Now we've practiced on being on one leg and moving our limbs out to the side. Now we're going to practice being on one leg, moving the limbs in a frontal and backwards plane of motion. So this time, it's a single leg Romanian deadlift. I shift my weight to my left foot. I set my right foot back, take a generous bend into the left knee. I hinge down. Imagine you're pulling a set of weights up. Couple things that we're gonna do that I don't want us to do. I don't necessarily want your hands to touch the floor. So this is not the goal. A straight spine is the goal. So bending into this left leg to help get low with a straight spine and rise back up as opposed to this, okay? So I don't care if you barely make it off the back foot, give me your best. Wait into the left foot, step the right foot back. Bend into the left knee. Now hinging at the hip, we go down and up. Down and up. That's our move, 40 seconds, let's do it. Back straight is the most important thing. Extending from the crown of the head and the heel and bending into the left leg to help you get the depth instead of toppling over. So think of the leg as a lever to help you get lower and lower. 20 seconds, half done. Great, awesome. Mm -hmm. Nice chest, good. Cause that looks good. Mm -hmm. Last five, four, three, two, one. Good, let's switch that. Right foot forward, left foot back. Bend into the right knee, hinging, using that leg as a lever, we come down and up. 40 seconds, go for it. Down and up. Good. Remember, the gaze is on the floor or the wall. So keep one point in contact. I usually like to think three or four feet in front of me and look at that the whole time. It'll help with your balance. Mm -hmm. Now, as we're doing this thinking, how are my glutes helping me here? The glutes should be activated the whole time to help you work through this range. Squeezing, last 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. One more rep, five. Four, three, two, done. Awesome. All right, we've got one more set. Those are great. I didn't see a lot of rounding of the spine, and that made me really happy. All right, shift your weight into your left foot. Right foot comes back, bend into the left leg. This is a lever to help you get closer to the floor, not this, this, okay? 40 seconds, here we go. Down, up. Maybe you even don't let that right foot touch the floor the whole time you're doing it. 
can always make things more challenging. If you're needing even more of a challenge today, you're like, Laurel, bring it on. Hands behind the head, down, and up. And that's it. Last 10. Nice, Cindy and Sophia, good. Five, four, three, two, rest. Let's work our way into our final side, second half of the second set. Option still applies. You can have your arms in front of you or you can take your hands behind the head. Bend to the right leg. 40 seconds in four, three, two. Here we go. Hinge it down and come back up. Maybe you don't let your left foot touch the floor. And I've noticed that this is true for most people. The most people have a more dominant side that it's easier for them to balance on. So one side might be a lot easier than the other. Most people have it. Great. Yes. Mm -hmm. Last 10 seconds. Then we're gonna get our heart rate up and have some water. Five, four, three, two, done. Step to your mat. 30 seconds, pendulum swing. Arms out. Three, two, one. We swing, swing, kick, swing, swing, kick. Let's do it. Get those legs all the way up. We practice balancing on one leg. Woo! Nice. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Reverse on high knee to the right. Ready? Let's go. Up, up, pump, pump. Keep it up. Keep going. Nice, nice. Yes. And I'm sorry I'm not jumping in with you guys as much today. I'm a little bit allergic to highlighter right now, so I'm doing my best. <laughs> Good. Last 10. Get those knees up even higher. Get the back knee down towards the ground. Give me eight, seven, six, five. We're switching in four, three, two. Let's go. Left foot back. 30 seconds. Up, back, up, back. That's it. Get the back knee down towards the ground. Proper lunge form, amazing. Awesome, after this, we're gonna have some water and then we're gonna actually come down onto our hands and knees. Mm -hmm. Half done. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Last 10. See if you can give me four more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and water all around. All right, we have two more things to do than our core, and then we'll call it a day. So, we're coming down onto hands and knees for these ones, and we're going to do, you can either do hands and knees, or you can do this in plank. I'm going to leave that entirely up to you. In tabletop position, it looks like this. Extend. Release, switch sides, up, down. We call these bird dogs. Bird dogs are one of the most underrated exercises for lower back health, because when we keep our back flat like this and we support our core and work our glutes, they're really great. So it's either a bird dog, or, or if you're feeling very spicy today, it is a plank alternate limb lift. It's hard. Okay, your choice, two sets, 40 seconds each. Make your way either into tabletop or plank. We're going in four, three, two, let's do it. Lift, lift, either in plank or tabletop, your choice. Awesome. Good. Now, because we're nitpicky and crazy and it's balance day, if you're doing the extensions in plank, especially if you're doing these extensions in plank, make sure that your arm is as straight as can be. 
Awesome. I love it. Last 20 seconds, AKA we're half done. <laughs> yes. Good. If you're in bird dogs, I want straight arm, straight leg as well. Squeeze your glute at the top, fully extending to the heel. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Awesome job. Everyone drop your knees. Give your hips a rock side to side. All right. We have our second set, then we have one more exercise. Are we ready? I'm gonna take the silence as a resounding yes, because I know we're all on mute. 40 seconds in plank or in tabletop. Let's go. Lift, lift. <laughs> great, 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 great. Nice job, Instagram as well. Way to go for those who've jumped in. Whew. Good. Nice. Remember, looking down at the ground the whole time, the back of the neck stays long, we don't crunch into it, and we can focus on that one spot. Last 15 seconds. Whew. Give me seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and rest. Everyone drop your knees. Now tuck your toes, press your hips up and back. Using this for a stretch now. Pedal up the leg. And lots of hands back to meet the feet. Let's roll on up. Final exercise of the day is a reverse lunge hover. So I shift all my weight into my left leg. I pick my right leg up and off the floor. I lunge back, I come up. Lunge back, come up. So it's a reverse lunge. You're just not letting your foot touch the ground. Alternative to this, I encourage trying it. Just see what's happened. Even if your reverse lunge is just like this and like this. That's still working towards something. If that's just not happening, Laurel, I'm gonna go on strike if you make me do that. Reverse lunge, high knee. But I want you to try the hover in the back. Weight in the left foot, right leg comes up, 40 seconds. Three, two, one. Get that back knee down, pull it up. One side only, then we'll do the other one. And I want you to really bend into the standing leg to help get that back leg low to the ground. These can be in slow motion. They should be in slow motion. And notice that your back stays flat. None of this straight spine the whole time. Half done. Ooh, it's wobbly and it's perfect that way. Last 15 seconds. Ooh, using our core to help us the whole time. Nice. Give me one more rep for five, four, three, two, and one. Let's work into the other side. Shift your weight into your right foot. Left leg up. 40 seconds. Here we go. Lunge it back. Pull it up. As Far down as you can go, and up. And the only way to get better at this is by doing this, it's by practicing. It's like playing an instrument, learning a language, any one of those things, training the body to balance. Mm -hmm. Half done. Great focus. Mm -hmm. Last 10. I'm gonna do one more set of these, or second set, and then we have our core. Five, four, three, two, rest. 
Couple good mornings to release the hamstrings. Hands to opposite shoulder, elbows in, flat back. Give me four. Three. Two. Hover and hold it. Keep dropping the belly button down. Lengthen your spine. Pull the shoulders down. Collarbones forward. Give your tailbone a wag. And come on up. All right. Final set. Weight comes into the left foot. Pull the right leg up. 40 seconds. Lunge up. If you want more of a challenge, you can take your hands behind your head. Okay? We're rolling. <laughs> Good. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Half done. Whew, I know we're getting tired. Even if it's just standing on one leg, it's a lot of work. Last 10. Do one more rep. Just one really good one. Lowest one of the day. Five, four, three, two. Switch. Other side. Last work. Shift the weight. Right foot. Left leg up. 40 seconds. Let's do this. Go. Option, take your hands behind the head. Nice. Nice, because I, I see it's wobbling. I know our legs are fatiguing, not standing like it's tired. Our core is tired from lifting the leg. Everything is tired. But as long as we're standing on one leg, we're still doing the work. We have 15 more seconds. Good, making sure that the spine stays straight. We don't want to compromise our form. Last rep for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing work, everyone. Come on down to sit. Take a nice hamstring stretch. Release those muscles that just did all the work. All right. We've got three exercises we're doing for 30 seconds each. The first one I call core clocks. I extend my legs up, I circle to the right, 30 seconds, then I go to the left, 30 seconds. Now, you'll notice that I'm leaning back into my arms. If you're wanting even more of a challenge, get your arms off the floor and do these, but keep your spine straight, so no slouching. I highly recommend hands, okay? That's first 30 seconds and seconds. After that, it's a V-shaped roll-up. So I take my body into a V-shape. Only the upper body comes down and back up. If you absolutely can't do it, then you can bend your legs. Still, only the upper body down and up. Talk about balance. First 30 seconds, extend those legs up. Core clocks to the right. Let's go. As you do it, keep pulling the legs higher and higher up, knees to nose. Woo! That's it. Nice. Get those legs a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. Last 10, then we're going to go right into the other direction. Fast. Four. Three. Two. Switch it up. Other way. Keep moving. Do your best not to stop. So hard, so hard. <laughs> also, if you need a little bit easier variation, you can do these on your form. But I'd like you to try doing them on your palm. Good. Last 10. We're gonna set the legs down. It's quick rest before the final exercise in four. Three, two, and rest. Take the hamstring stretch. We want to get the length in the back of our legs for our V roll up. Now, rolling up to sit. Root the hands down. Come up into a V shape. Release the hands. Last 30 seconds. Come down and back up. And down and back up. That's it. 
If you need to do it with bent legs, do it with bent legs. Only the upper body is moving. Keep that lower body so still and static. Half done. Very, very, very strong day. Mm -hmm. In five, we're going to draw the knees into the chest and take a spinal twist. Four, three, two, and one. Pull them in. Guide both knees over to the left. Guide them over to the right. Pull the knees back through center and pull first knees into armpits. Then option to reach through the legs, grab the outer edges of the feet for happy baby if you want a deeper stretch. See if you can start to straighten out the left leg. Rebend into that knee, see if you can straighten out the right leg. Work towards straight. Rebend that knee, see if you can straighten out both legs. And then rebend into the knees, bring them back through center. Rock and roll up to sit, prop yourself up to stand. Right arm across the body, shoulder stretch. Left arm across the body. Release the arms, give everything a shake and a wiggle, and then bring the hands together and give yourself a round of applause. I love it. Every minute of today was fantastic. Great job. Tomorrow we get to reap the benefits of all of our hard work by doing some mobility and flexibility. Great job, gang. Thank you. Go, Gator. Thank you, gang.